Hello. In this figure, we have a triangle with the sides of 6, 8, and 9 units. The line segment AB splits the entire triangle into two parts such that the area of the blue region is equal to the area of the green region. Then, what is the length of the line segment AB? First, let's call this triangle C, D, E. Then, we will start by finding the height of this triangle using the following formula. If we have a triangle with three given sides A, B, and C, and the height is perpendicular to side B, then the height is equal to 2 square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C all over B, where S is 1 half times A plus B plus C. So to find the height, first we will find number S, which is 1 half times 6 plus 8 and plus 9. This equals 11.5. Then h will be equal to 2 times square root of 11.5 times 11.5 minus 6 times 11.5 minus 8 and times 11.5 minus 9. All this divided by 9. And we are dividing by 9 because the height is perpendicular to the side that has 9 units. Then using a calculator, h will be approximately 5.228. And I will add this to the figure. And let's call this point, point F. Next, we need to find the areas of the triangles E, F, C and B, A, C. We know that the area of the triangle BAC is half of the area of the triangle EDC. And to find the area of EDC, we can use Heron's formula. With Heron's formula, given a triangle with three sides, we can find the area using the formula square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S is one half of A plus B plus C. So again we will find S and that is one half times six plus eight plus nine and this is 11.5 and now the area of the triangle EDC equals square root of 11.5 times 11.5 minus 6 times 11.5 minus 8 and times 11.5 minus 9. And this will be approximately 23.525. Now the area of the triangle BAC, which is the blue triangle, is going to be half of the area of the triangle EDC. So 23.525 divided by 2. Then the area of the triangle BAC equals approximately 11.763. And I will copy this to the left for a later use. Now to find the area of the triangle EFC first we need to find the lengths FD. And for this, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. We will write that FD squared plus 5.228 squared equals the hypotenuse 6 squared. Then we will isolate FD squared, and this will be equal to 6 squared minus 5.228 squared, then to find FD, we will take the square root. So inside we will have 6 squared minus 5.228 squared. And again, using a calculator, we will approximate and we will get that FD is approximately 2.944. So then, if FD is 2.944 and CD is equal to 9, 
then we can find CF by subtracting 2.944 from 9. So then CF equals 9 minus 2.944. Then CF equals 6.056. And now in the triangle EFC, we know the height and we know the base and we can find the area. To find this area, we will use the formula A equals 1 half times base times height. Then the area of the triangle EFC equals 1 half times 6.056 times 5.2 8. Then the area of the triangle EFC will be approximately 15.830. And I will move this information to the left as well. And now because EF and BA are both perpendicular to the bottom side, then the triangles EFC and BAC are similar. Then for similar triangles we have the following theorem. In two similar triangles the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So first let's form a ratio of their areas. Triangle BAC has the area of 11.763 and triangle EFC has the area of 15.830. Then this ratio has to be equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. The side BA in the triangle BAC corresponds to the side EF in the triangle EFC. So we will form a ratio of AB and side EF which is 5.8. 228 and then we will square it. Then we will have 11.763 over 15.830 equals AB squared over 5.228 squared. Then using cross multiplying we will write that AB squared equals 5.228 squared times 11.763 divided by 15.830. And now to find AB we will take the square root of the right side and then we will use a calculator. So again under the square root we will have 5.228 squared times 11.763 divided by 15.830. Then AB will be approximately 4.507. And now the problem is completed. If you liked the video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.